really discover your inner strength as well when you go through this illness. Yeah. You, know? you yeah. do. You, you discover a part of you that you never knew was there. This car gets people talking about depression. When I woke up this morning, I, my first thought was, I have to go to Newcastle today and do an interview for the BBC. And I thought, I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. I met a man in Northern Ireland who's made it his mission to talk about depression. And what changed my mind was, if that reaches out to someone out there that is in the same position as I was this morning, it's worth it. This is Jarleth and his car. People look at me and they think, there's nothing wrong with you. For 30 years, he's had depression. You tell everybody, everybody, I didn't break the car! You tell everybody in the BBC that the man that suffers from depression <laughs> is even worse because the, she broke the seat. I'm India. I've been diagnosed with depression twice in my life and it can be really difficult to talk about. Some of you guys have been telling us what's helpful when talking about your depression. What helps me to talk about my depression is knowing that I'm not alone, and that speaking out about my mental illness will help others talk about theirs. Be honest and confident in what you're talking about. Also, don't expect that everyone will understand you. Writing things down can be a really good way to make sure you're saying exactly what you want to say and you're getting your point across. So that's how they feel, but what about you? Talk to us, we want to know how you feel and what your thoughts are on depression. We'll be hearing more of your thoughts later. But first, back to Jarla. He's not well, you know, or he's, he's, he's a bit off. I'm really sick of people talking about whispers. According to the World Health Organization, depression is one of the main causes of disability worldwide. Across the globe, it's estimated more than 300 million people suffer from it. And Jarleth wants to get people talking. To me, it's getting it into people's faces and I would park it in the most conspicuous place. I would try and park it anywhere until someone would say, no, you can't park it there. People will talk about this car when it drives past. This is Ryan and Agnes. They've both opened up to Jarleth about their depression in one of his support groups. I have had depression for roughly about seven years. I had it when I was about 16 years old. It's a very lonely illness to have. Um, you feel like you're going crazy, especially when uh, the initial symptoms kick in. You don't know what is going on. <clears throat> How does it feel for you today? Um, it, I would say it makes me more caring and more understanding of people's uh, mindset. It's a good positive thing to Positive from that point of view. Uh, not whenever I am totally debilitated or I can't leave the house. And I know what I no longer want to live. That bad? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a fleeting, uh, a constantly fleeting uh, thought. I found that when people said to me, how are you? I felt like screaming. Do yeah. you really want to know? For a while, you're able to sort of hold it in and keep everything together. It's hard to come to terms with the fact that I have depression. You, you never, I didn't want to admit that. I, I, I didn't think it was possible for me to have that. There are lots of treatments for depression. Different things work for different brains. And people find all sorts of ways to cope. Little things that can make a big difference. And talking can be one of them. Share what you're comfortable with sharing at first. Remember you're in control. And make sure you do so in a safe and calm environment. You start with those you are closest to. They want to help and they will listen. It might sound strange, but I think brutal honesty helps. If someone says to me, Liz, how are you? Um, I don't know what to say to you, if I'm honest. Uh, or Liz, I don't know how to approach this conversation with you, but I want you to know that I'm here for you. That actually opens up a really special place. Make sure you talk about depression with others on your good days. In that way, it helps put your point across a little better. I can wake in the morning and I know I have got to make a choice here. I can either get the victory over today or I can give in and lose this day. I, I, I'm gonna say, 
recovery, I guess. Um, it, I think so. I think it's safe to say that word now because yeah. although I, I do suffer, and I still do go through periods where I'll be very low, but I know how to, I know it's all going to be okay. It's only temporary. It's not nothing to be scared of anymore. It's like a, a very small but mighty car, I think, mm. this. Yeah. Full mm. of character. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With, with quite a tall man in it. Yeah. <laughs> You can get out and stretch your legs now if you like. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to do that.